Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this stitch I'm calling shells in a row. And as you can see it does have some texture on the front of it running here like in front of the shells. So it does have like a slight texture that doesn't necessarily pick up well on camera when it's laying flat like this, but it does have some texture to it that adds that like almost looks like little dresses when you're looking like this. So anyway, it's very nice. It's like very uniform. I thought it was really pretty the way it, it comes out. So it's very simple to do. You can get, you can do this using any size yarn and any size hook that that yarn recommends. I use wash weight yarn, which is four ply for the U.S., ten ply for Australia, and I also used a five millimeter hook, which is size H in uh, the U.S. So go ahead and grab your yarn and hook, and we'll get started. The multiples of the stitch is five plus one. So what you want to do is chain in multiples of five, 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 five until you get the width that you want and then chain one more and you're ready to start. So I'm going to go ahead and chain my plus one and then in the second chain from the hook, one, two, you'll want to put a single crochet. Then you'll want to put a single crochet in each stitch down your chain, or in each chain, I should say. So continue to do that, and I'll see you when you get done. Okay, so the, the pattern doesn't call for a row of single crochets, but I've realized when you're working with shells especially, it's best to have a base, a stronger base, um, than just the chain stitch. The next row, I'll be starting the shells, but if so it'll be on the back side of the single crochet when we're starting the next row, which will ultimately be your front side. So if it bothers you that this first row is going to be facing the wrong way, you can go ahead and do one more row of single crochet so that when you start your, uh, your shells that it won't be so noticeable to you. I don't think it'll be noticeable anyway to most people that this is backwards, but it's up to you. So anyway, once you're ready and you've got your base done, you want to chain three and then turn. And this chain three will count as your first double crochet. Now you want to skip three stitches and since this one counts as a stitch, you're not going to be counting this first stitch. So you'll go to the second stitch of the row and count over three. One, two, and three. So those three will be skipped. So in this fourth stitch here, you're going to be doing five double crochets all worked in that same stitch to make your shell. So that's three. That's four. And that's five. I feel like I'm a little too close here. Okay. So you'll have your chain three, then three skipped stitches, and then in this fourth stitch here, you'll have five double crochets. So then you'll want to do that for the rest of the row. You'll be skipping the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then in the next, you'll be putting five double crochets. So you'll continue to skip three, then in the next stitch, put your five double crochets. You'll continue that all the way down the row, and I'll show you how to end this row. So after your last shell of the row, you should have three stitches left on the end. So you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then this very last stitch of the row, you're going to want to put a double crochet. And that will end row two. So for row three, you'll chain one and turn. You want to put a single crochet in the very top of your double crochet here, first stitch of the row, and now we're going to be chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
and now we're going to go over our shells and find that space in between the two shells and we're going to be putting a single crochet in this big space to anchor that chain down and then you'll repeat that for the row chain five and single crochet in the next big space it's a super fast and super easy ugh, as long as your yarn doesn't bunch up on you row three four five this last one here you won't be single crocheting into the space you'll be single crocheting it to the top of the chain three to end your row and that ends row three so for row four you're going to chain three again one two and three turn and now the center chain of your chain five so there'll be two chains on this side and two chains on this side find that center chain which mine is here and you'll be putting your shell in that center chain so you'll put five double crochets all worked into that same chain stitch it's three four and five and then you'll start your next shell in the center of the chain of the next and then the center of the chain of the next you'll do that for all your chains down the row no need to chain in between or anything like that just start working your shells all the way down your row when you get to the end of your row and you've done your very last chain you'll want to put a double crochet worked in the single crochet the very last single crochet of your row and that will end your row so that's one two three so this is row four so you'll chain one again and turn and then again you're going to single crochet in that first single crochet and then you'll chain five and then again you'll be putting a single crochet worked in the middle of your shells just like that and it'll be the same thing over and over and over again you just have to repeat the last two rows so if you want to say this is one so two and three so you can repeat rows two and three over and over and over again until your project gets to be the length that you desire so that's it guys I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to click like it helps my channel out so much and if you're wondering where I got this hook it is called a furls hook it's a wooden hook and I ordered it with the extended hook so if you want one I recommend you order it with that if you have a lot of hand problems or carpal tunnel something like this it's really light on your hand so it'll allow you to crochet for a lot longer not to mention the, the width of this helps to not cramp your hand so fast so anyway you can find the link down below also I have a Facebook group called crochet for the masses where we share links to free patterns and pictures of the projects that we've done and we ask questions things like that you can do all that there you can find that link also below this video so that's it guys thank you so very much for watching Music